Hi everyone and hello, welcome to this video and the point of this video today is, uh, well, we're just going to refactor some stuff and, and the cleanup stuff uh, so that we can prepare our scene uh, for the next time. So we're going to add pedals, the ball, etc. to our pawn game. Uh, basically the goal is just to clean up uh, this mess in main method. So first of all, uh, let's see where we'll start. So I would recommend maybe from the camera, uh, because we can move all of this basically to camera class. Uh, so let's see how am I going to do it. So we can create public uh, update. That's good enough. So maybe I should just move all the, the way here and then maybe zoom in slightly so that it's easier to see. Okay, we have our camera, so we have already here, I'm just going to add this buffer. So now I'm going to save you properties. And here, if you're developing for your game or something, uh, you can change this to getters and setters. I'm not going to do it for the simplicity of, of the video and, and also the game when you're reading. But if you want, you can handle some stuff way better. Uh, then I'm doing here, uh, you could say getter setters and then set the value only if, if getter setters used from the outside. Uh, you're, you're going to see what I mean, but uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll go this way because it's just easier. So I'm going to leave the ref serious refactoring to you. So we can just make this one private up because that's never going to change. And then we're going to have perspective properties. Uh, so here we can have a field of view, I'm going to use 45 degrees, we can have near, at zero 01, and then we can have as well public bar, and that by default can be 100, and then we're going to have matrices. So we already had this private projection view, I'm just going to use, I'm not, not going to use underscore, so we're going to have perspective. So we can just set it to magic 4x4 identity and then we're going to have private view as well. Okay, we're good here. I need to be property, we're going to get rid of this getter and setter because we're going to do it in update, on each update. So this is part where I'm saying, okay, you can do this probably better than I'm going to do. Uh, so only information that we're going to need here is aspect ratio because that depends on our canvas uh, dimensions so we're going to say private aspect ratio is this type of number good uh, buffer we're going to create it and then we can say just this projection view I could do it in one line probably all right and then we're going to move this to update so let's just format this a bit. So our view, I'm just going to say this view is look at and then we mentioned parameters above. So we're going to have this eye, this target, and then this up. Good. So similar, we're going to have this perspective. So we mentioned we have this field of view here, aspect ratio we're going to pass in. So I made it here private so that I don't have to like create a field separately. So we can do that as well. This near and then this far. And finally we just need to multiply that. So we're going to say this projection view is multiply and this is probably good. We can just say here this perspective and this view. All right, almost done. So we're going to go to main. So here we have our camera. So I'm just going to say canvas width over canvas height because that's our perspective. And further, I don't think we have to do anything with the camera. We can just get rid of this here because we're not going to need it anymore. And if you see somewhere that it's complaining, you can get rid of it. Okay, but we don't see our cube anymore and that's because probably because I moved our camera a bit, bit to the far, it's, anyway, it's moved. 
but here somewhere here I'm just going to say game object in the camera by default uh, when we start the game I, I just want the eye to be at some position 0 0 and maybe minus 20 if I save it I didn't, still don't see anything uh, but it's probably right easy though let me just see I'm just going to move this to 0 0 0 and we do see it so that's quite all right actually at minus minus 20 is fine uh, it's just a peer zoomed in because I never updated it so in our draw I'm just going to say before draw I'm going to create a new method and it's going to be update so here we're just going to update game objects one of them being camera so if I update it here and then I can just call update ah but I never wrote to buffer here in, in, in camera, camera I never wrote to buffer so we're just going to say this buffer that update and we're going to pass in this projection view and that's it so if I save now so now it's zoomed out quite a bit because our camera is pulled way back to minus 20 position that's that's quite all right that's what I want to have so next uh, let's see what can we pull next so I want to quickly pull this depth texture also out so I'm just going to copy paste it for now and then we had texture and then texture to D so here what I'm going to do is just create another static method and here uh, somewhere okay let's go here so just public static create depth texture so we're going to need device uh, the parameters will width number and then height that's a number so we're going to copy paste that one and then here we can say turn uh, new texture to D we have device and we are going to add this second parameter but let's just get rid of this canvas so we're going to have width and height and here so now in our constructor uh, here so if we, we might have a texture and it's of type GPU texture or null and by default it's going to be null but if we already have it set right we can just set this texture if we already have a texture so it's just small overload uh, so that we don't have to initialize it and stuff yeah this is probably good uh, so let's see if it works so if I say our texture to D here okay the texture so we need some information device canvas width canvas height and it's broken and I know why because here in our depth stencil right we have the texture but now it's texture 2d we need gpu texture so we're not just going to say the texture dot create view the texture dot create view okay that's good enough we saw that as well uh, so now what I want to do is I'm just going to create small util class for some of the stuff yeah usually you just create util class for stuff that you don't know where you want to place it's, it's kind of place for just about everything if I was writing an engine I, I would probably avoid util class I, I actually hate them uh, for some reason because it's just in util class usually just everything ends up being there for some reason and then it's it's, it's it takes care of just about everything and I will probably create image loader but here uh, for the simplicity sake I'm just going to do this and it's complaining because we cannot have function here otherwise it's good yeah so we can have util class for this so let's just see if it works Ah, 
needs to be public, it needs to be static, and it works. Good. Uh, further, further, what we're going to clean up now is actually we're going to create our game objects. So that can be next. So let's here just create folder, call it game objects. And the first one is going to be our pedal. And good. And so we're going to say it for class pedal. Let me just see my notes because I already prepared a lot of stuff here. So we're going to move our pipeline here. So it was only trend the pipeline. In the next video it's going to be lit and the pipeline or something like that because it's going to have lights for now we're just going to leave it as it is we're going to have to have transform buffer then transform so we can just say matrix 4x4 identity and here we're going to say have some public properties like scale so by default I I actually want to have one five one because our pedal needs to be uh, higher right it, it needs to look like a pedal so we're going to leave it as that uh, then we're going to have public position so yeah here we're just going to use defaults zero 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 we're going to change that in main function and then we can also have public color we had color but just use default white uh, and then we're going to need constructor, so we're going to need as usual device. And here we're probably going to need the camera because of the pipeline when we build it here. So let's just create this transform buffer, new uniform buffer. We can pass in here device, we can pass in here transform. And then label, we can just say transform, pedal transform probably. So if we ever need to debug it, uh, we're going to know. So so it's when you look at the debugger, it's going to say pedal transform uh, for the buffer. And then we're going to have pipeline. You only turn the pipeline. So as usual, device. Yeah, yeah. Good guess. We had dependency on camera, and then this transforms buffer as well. So next, we're going to have update. So we need to update our game objects. So we're not going to rotate them. Uh, we have scale rotation, but I'm not going to worry about rotations uh, in this video. So we're just going to paste this scale of x. This uh, scale of y. This. Let's see. Okay, we have our scale matrix. So then we need our translate matrix. Uh, this position, the text, this. Good, and then we can uh, finally have our transform. So we just need to multiply, uh, translate, and then scale. And that's good, and then we just need to write to this transform buffer. So now just to quickly comment this, because we're actually creating object basically each each up, each time when we call update, we create three objects, one here, one here, one here, because of our matrices, right? I, I call this new. So usually you might want to have like some parameter called out to be of matrix 44. And then you just want to write to this matrix instead of creating a new one each time. But for simplicity, I'm going to leave it like this. So just so that you know, it's it's not the most optimized code. And same is here, right? You don't need to update each frame. You can just update whenever you know that this transform is changing. So for that, you can use getters and setters. And I would encourage you to do it like that. But for simplicity, I'm going to leave it like this, right? Because someone needs to get this code and, and read it really quickly. And uh, I mean, doing properly getters and setters really uh, drags the video as well. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this. All right. Uh, eh, 
now we're going to set diffuse color so our color and then we can draw our pipeline so we're going to need this information and the pass encoder uh we're going to need to refract our buffer as well and i'm going to do it like this so what i'm going to do is uh, in our buffers i'm going to say geometry where are you geometry so i'm just going to create geometry buffers collection plus geometry buffers so it's just going to have some static uh, properties which are going to simplify our fetching of geometry buffers so we had our geometry buffers so basically what were geometry buffers it was just uh, uh, where are you I'm not sure if this is good place for this actually it should probably go here yes let's keep it here but basically geometry buffers were just our wrapper right so our gpu wrappers so now we just want to have them as static uh, we're going to have static insta so that it's easy to fetch because our geometry is going to be same for the pedals and for the bolts maybe for the terrain right you can you can scale cube in many ways to get uh different uh, kind of geometries which all uh, look really nice so you can create a terrain with the cube you just need to scale one of the axes to to something large two actually to something large and then then one can be really thin uh we're going to do that in later videos where maybe when you do shadows we could do shadows and then we can play with it uh but let's see here we had this create cube geometry and then this cube buffers is it got new geometry buffers we need device and we need a geometry so be mindful this is static so we're going to need to initialize it somewhere in our main and we can do that yeah somewhere here is good as well so we're going to need to import that import it initialize it paste the device and we're good now we can use it so we can go back to our pedal we can set here and then if we import it as well we can just say our few buffers and instant scout we can leave it as empty because by default it's one so here it's complaining about something and the pass coder gpu no. the pass all right let's see so you need to have this right update uh, then draw and now we can create our pedal so i'm just going to go to our main and we can get rid of a bunch of stuff these transform buffers we don't need anymore uh we don't need this unlit pipeline also this geometry buffers we don't need here anymore. we don't need this either anymore so here we're going to get rid of this as well then save it and then we just need to create our game objects now so we're going to have pedal one so we need to paste the ice camera so we have that pedal uh let's just modify it a bit so i had something like this in my mind pedal position dot x is minus 10 and then color zero 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 one for example it can be red no, then let's just update it and then let's just draw it as well and then let's read the pass encoder and it's actually crashing that's interesting uh, so i missed something so let's see maybe it has a tip somewhere let's inspect it what is it saying aha i know i forgot to change the shader so our shader if you remember so now we can just paste one uniform so we can get rid of this and just say one 
it in our shader where we have transforms. Okay, that's almost good, but I don't see our pedal still. I should be seeing it. Let's see. Our camera is set up correctly. Our position X here is set up correctly. Did I forget to update something? I think the camera is all right, so it must be the pedal. So we have this transform, scale is correct. Translation is correct as well. Drawing. Ah, let's just try to inspect it. So I'm just going to do this. Hopefully you already installed WebGPT debugger. If not, just uh, Google for it and install it. And then you can see all the values that you have. And then we can just go to one of our buffers. Uh, see, could detect all with camera buffer. That one seems all right to me. So I'm not going to look at it, but I'm interested in pedal transform. So let's see the values here. Minus 10 translation x. So this is translate x, translate y, translate z. That seems all right. And the scale y seems all right as well. <laughs> so actually, I'm not sure what's happening. Uh, could be camera far. Is 100. All right. I'll, I'll figure it out and then get back to you. Okay, found it. Actually, the issue was really simple. It looks like our field of view was too small or something. So I had to fix field of view. Uh, so we can make it probably 60 is good value. Or, or we can do this. Uh, so I'm going to have it like this. So I'm going to change resolution of canvas. Then this is moved here and then in our camera. I can just place 45 and this looks good enough. So it's going to be screen of this size. So let's just create a second pedal. So that one is really simple. We can, I'm just going to do copy paste, I'll call it pedal 2 here as well. This is going to be positive and we can make it blue. So let's see. Ah, maybe I should update it and draw it. And then I guess we can draw it. Let's see. It's here. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, one more thing that I'm going to do is to create a new game object. I'm going to call it ball. I'm just going to copy paste this. You can do it differently. I'm too lazy, so I'm just going to make scale one and I'm going to call this ball transform. And then we're just going to create that ball. Uh, did I rename it? Probably haven't. So I'm going to do that as well. device camera we need to update it and finally we just need to draw it let's see our scene all right uh, that's what i wanted to have and finally i just want to have a bit of a different color here and i already had some good clear values here in the future we're going to do uh, also cube maps so that's going to look nice but here i'm just going to do this it has nice blue color and that's our scene setup uh, so basically that's what i wanted to have this uh, for this video just to clean up have this idea of game objects so that we can do lights uh, next time and as you can see this doesn't look good right because we don't have light we don't have shading so that's what we're going to do next time uh yeah this was shorter video uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, please like, subscribe, or maybe leave a comment, and until next time.